For today's adventure, I've got a cute little box. It's Mimikyu! I got this Mimikyu EX box off of Amazon for roughly $15, and if you're interested in getting one, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out. Now, there's not too much to this box. We have two promo cards up front, a nice Mimikyu EX and a Grievered. I'm not sure if either will be super relevant in competitive play, but Mimikyu does have a nice attack here, Energy Burst, that does 30 damage for each energy attached to both Pokémon. This could be a really good Hail Mary play if your opponent kind of has the upper hand on you, though I suppose if you need a Hail Mary play, your opponent might have something on their bench that can just knock Mimic you out the next turn anyway. But this is still a really cool looking card regardless. We will sleeve it up and set it aside. Looking at Grieverd, well, at least he's cute. This is a really cute looking card. Grieverd is a great addition to Scarlet and Violet and we'll sleeve him up as well. I'm not sure if Grieverd will ever be relevant for competitive play, but no matter. Now, with these jumbo cards, I have so many that I'm collecting. At this point, I might as well start another wall of just jumbo cards, a huge mural of them. Regardless, we'll set everything aside and dig into these booster packs. Now, it looks like we have two Silver Tempest and a Fusion Strike and a Brilliant Stars. So that's a pretty good mixture. We've also got our nice code card hidden in there. So we'll set everything aside and clear out some space for these four. Now with only four packs, I'm not sure if we can hope for something really good to put up on the wall, but we'll see. We might get lucky, who knows. We'll toss this code card aside and move four from the back to the front. We've got Energy, Sandslash, Corvusquire, Spongy Gloves, Onyx, Snom, Impidimp, Qfint, Sandshrew, a Power Tablet, and Greedent V! <laughs> what a great way to get started here. I'll grab a sleeve from the side and put this guy on in it. This guy definitely makes it onto the wall, so we'll make sure he's well protected to get him up there. We'll move on to the next pack, which is, in no particular order, Brilliant Stars. So even though this is a small box, nothing's really guaranteed other than those promo cards. So I definitely would recommend waiting for a sale if you can. Otherwise, if you really like Mimikyu, go for it. Now we'll take our code card and put it aside. I almost forgot to take four from the back to the front. You'd think that's almost second nature by now. But we've got Energy, Roseanne's Backup, an Ultra Ball, Vibrava, Mancino, Baltoy, Snow Runt, Nosepass, Milsery, Heatran, and a Bibarel. Those are not the greatest but we still have two packs of Silver Tempest to go. Hopefully you guys have opened something good in the past week. If you have, let me know what it is in the comments below. It's always great hearing what other people open because part of the fun is just opening cards and seeing what you get. It's always a gamble, but it's a fun gamble. We'll take all of our cards out. Put our code card aside, four from the back to the front, and we've got Energy, Claydol, Worker, Sunflora, Petil, Pikachu, Growlithe, Clink, Tratini, whoa, <laughs> okay, a Radiant Jirachi, and Delphox. I really like this Radiant Jirachi. It's a lot like the Radiant Eternatus back there. So I am going to sleeve this up because I think it earns a spot on the wall for sure. What a great looking card. 
We have one pack left, but there's absolutely no complaints with me over anything from this box. This has been a really good little box for me, so I'm happy. I hope you guys, if you end up getting this box, you guys end up happy too. Because there's nothing we like to see more than some happy Pokemon fans. I'll put the code card aside. Take four from the back to the front. And dig on in with energy. Araquanid. Stonjourner. Golbat. Baltoy. Sunkern. Clink. Patil. Litten. Emolga and... Arcanine. Well, slightly lackluster ending, but we did get two really nice looking cards that'll make it up onto the wall. Now, we're not done yet. We are so close to 100 subs that I know we'll hit it by next week. So be sure to tune in then as I'll be starting the giveaway for these celebrations boxes. We'll have two different winners and each winner gets their choice of either box, as I have two of each. So whichever boxes are left over will be opened in celebration of 100 subs. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the giveaway video next week. Enjoy your adventures, and I'll see you then!